Shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and today we're getting back into a, a proverb a day to keep Satan away. And we're going over Proverbs 6. This is all about a father's uh, counsel to a son, about friends and guarding the words of your lips. And also, this is about the seven deadly sins. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and share our content. Also, we are on Odyssey, Yah's Elect Assembly on Odyssey. Please uh, support that channel as well. It's free. But let's get into it. My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. So, uh, my son, if you are um, vouching for a friend, or if you're speaking words or coming into covenant over a friend, you must do or accomplish the words that come out of your mouth because just like our creators our words cannot come back to us void so you have to be careful with the, with the things that you're speaking and the thoughts that you're thinking do this now my son and deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend go humble thyself and make sure thy friend so make sure you make it right if you say you're going to give them something or do something whatever do what you said you're going to do. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways, and be wise. So he wants you to be wise in all of your dealings. Which having no guide, oversee, overseer or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, talking about the ant, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? When will you pay attention? When will you learn? When will you uh, show initiative? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as a, an armed man. So if you're being a sluggard, if you're not, uh, like again, taking initiative, being proactive, Poverty is going to take hold of you out of nowhere. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. Guard the words that's coming out of your mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be, be broken without remedy. So it's going to come unawares in a moment in an instant now we're going to start talking about the seven deadly sins we ain't talking about the anime <clears throat> these six things doth the lord hate yea seven are an abomination unto him a proud look one a proud look a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devise of wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. So people that always cloud chasing and starting drama. The most high does not like that. People that are being false witnesses. So something goes down, whoop, whoop, blase, blase, and y'all set up a patsy, lying on an innocent person. Most high, he hates that. People that always be swift to run and mischief people that always gossiping and i know in the awakenings in church in life so many people all they do is gossip well i just want y'all to know the most i he hates that stop speaking on stuff that you don't really know about a heart that devised wicked imaginations control your mind think about the things and meditate uh, on the scriptures day and night and think on the things that are pleasing to your creator then it talks about a hand that sheds innocent blood. I think that's enough said, especially 
in this day and age in the quote unquote alleged so called black community, all we do is kill each other. A lot of the times it's killing innocent people, shooting up innocent people's neighborhoods for no reason. The most high he he hates that. He hates a lying tongue. There's some people that's all they do is spew lies. It's habitual for them. The most high does not love that. And a proud look. Now that's one thing that we all have to pay attention to because we all get up in our carnal flesh. We all get to fill in ourselves and we give these looks. Our creator does not love these things. He does not love these things. And then he says, my son, oh, this court among brethren, <laughs> especially in this age, in this awakening, there are certain people that all they do is beef with people. We'll call it 50 cent. That's all they do. They just be 50 cent with everybody. You know, oh, you know, I'm the only one with the word of truth. Oh, you know, if you're not following me, you're not following the man of God. This day, this is the man of God for this age. What, whatever you want to call it, the Most High don't like that. He he is not in that. He's not in that. He wants to see us dwelling uh, in love, loving our neighbors, our brethren as ourselves. My son, keep thy father's commandment. Obey me. Obey the Most High. Obey your Creator, and forsake not the law of thy mother. So your father gives the commandments, and your mother makes known the law to you. Bind them continually upon thine heart. Same thing that we've been talking about through Proverbs. And tie them about thy neck. Right? When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp. And the law is light. The law of thy mother is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So getting wise correction is the way of life. To keep thee from the evil woman. Stay away from strange doctrines. Strange religions. From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Stay away from strange women. In the physical. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Now there's. Especially nowadays when. People are wearing less and less clothing. Or tighter and tighter clothing. Don't lust. Because what did Paul say? I had not uh, known lust until, you know, he knew about thou shall not covet. For by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. A man is brought to nothing by lusting after these sinfully, worldly, wearing nothing women. And the adulteress would, will hunt for the precious life. So, especially in, in the Hebraic culture. Um... A lot of times, all this stuff was to try to get you to not lust after your brother or your kinfolk's wives. But the Messiah said, even if you look after a woman in a lustful manner, it is sin. So you got to be careful. And then it says, can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go up upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife, whosoever... Touch of her shall not be innocent because we know if you get caught and there's two witnesses, you're supposed to be put to death. You're supposed to be put to death. Men do not despise a thief. So he said, don't despise a thief if he's still to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. So if he ain't got nothing and he about to die and he needs some food, don't despise a thief. But that's one of, that's actually the only time when it tells you that. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. See, a lot of people will get caught stealing, shortchanging people, this, this, and that. And then they won't restore sevenfold. And then a, a lot of the times it's not because they, they're they trying to satisfy their soul. It's just because they're trying to satisfy their lust. He shall give all the substance of his house. Because you, you have to give sevenfold, seven times. But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. So again, this is about committing adultery with a married woman. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Because again, actually, you're actually destroying two souls. Your soul and that wife. Because again, if, if they get caught with a witness, according to the Bible, especially in, in, that, in this age or that age, they're supposed to be put to death. A wound and dishonor shall he get. 
and his reproach shall not be wiped away, right? For jealousy is the rage of a man. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. He will not regard any ransom. Neither, neither will he rest content. Though thou givest many gifts. So, in this age, learn the things that are pleasing to the Most High. Stay away from the seven deadly sins. Um, don't fall for these seductive, seducing, strange women, evil women. And especially stay away from married women. <laughs> so, Father, we thank you for your word, which is doing forever. We ask for you to forgive us of our sins and the sins of our ancestors. We also ask you for you to create in us clean and contrite hearts, minds and spirits towards you, Father. We ask for you to create in us a generation of righteousness. We ask for you to send healing now. We ask for you to send prosperity now. We ask, Father, for you to remember the covenant that you have with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and with David, these everlasting covenant, Father, that you said that you would not alter nor break, Father. Remember that we're your people and sheep of your pasture, but remember that we are but flesh, Father. And we are grateful to you for, to you today because your hand is stretched out still. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for your long suffering. Thank you for being ready to save. Thank you for being ready to forgive, Father. Thank you for your love covering a multitude of sins father thank you for sending your beloved son in whom you are well pleased to die for the sins of the world so that we could have a chance at eternal life and a right to the tree of life father thank you father for awakening us in a day like this father thank you father for protecting us and keeping us and placing us in our places of safety and our goshens father to have, to have the right people in our lives for the times that's come to help us to thrive in the trying times father and please keep us from temptation please keep us from deceptions father and give us the ruach the spirit of discernment father all these things we do ask and pray in the name of your beloved son jesus the christ yahusha hamashiach aman so again this was a proverb a day to keep satan away this is proverb six i am yehuda this is yah's assembly so please subscribe hit that notification bell like and share our content uh, stay away from the seven deadly sins and until next time peace family Whoa.